when you put the thing together. Ooh. To start off with, <laughs> this is your uh, three-legged stand, you know, like a like a an extended tripod, really. Um, we were playing around with this, thinking it was going to be something to do with the end of there. It's not. It's just it's it was just a little bit stiff. First of all, you take the first one out and it locks into place. Take the second one and that first one goes round and that locks into place. So you then got the stand. Now you must remember that the back one, which is the longest leg, always at the, um, I believe it's always at the back, but uh, I may be wrong. I would think that's right because it's the back that's going to need more support in it. Right. So. And if you are going to use a AC stand, uh, always make sure that you've got a bag or something, a sandbag or a, a bit of weight behind it. So that's that bit. There's this bit then, and this is this is the heavy. This is the this is the brute. And I think if, if Phil doesn't. Uh, uh, do anything bad with this? I'll, I'll shove, shove it in the in the in the top. You haven't you haven't sprung board in it, have you? No. Yeah. Not not that I know of. Good. That's not spring loaded anyway, so. There you go. Tighten it off. Phil's the expert at this but I, I put this one bit to there and you got it in the in the stand there. Next bit is the uh, armature. Now no on the on this particular uh, new um newer new knee woo N newer or newer N yeah that's what you said. I think it's newer. Newer, newer. On these newer ones, you've got two sides. You've got uh, two plastic cones on there. You'll find, thanks to Phil's explore, exp, exploring, that one of these is your standard little kind of thing for uh, cameras and such, such like. So you can put your camera on there if you want to put your camera on the end of the the armature and at the other side oh, you've got one for stuff like well what's it what's it useful for my Mi micro a lot of microphones have the bigger screw, the bigger screw and I think some of the some of the bigger lights do I know it's making me nauseous because it's greasy and oily so and it's been on the carpet so <sighs> worse than pulling so there you go you got two bits there Keep it away. Not there is a wide, not there is a wider gap there for your, your wider poles. Uh, a smaller one there for your um, smaller poles. One on top, one on bottom for your minute poles, and then you've got a straw pole which is very thin. <laughs> That's just a bit of wire, I'm sure of it. To want to to uh, set these up. Unscrew that, tighten that, unscrew that, and it's sprung loaded, so you're going to have to pull this back to put it onto the to the stand. So that's the wider one, and that's the wider pull. Somewhere there for now. Tighten it up. Also grip the angle, won't it? Yeah, it does. Choose the angle you want to put it at. Uh, if you want it to go back, and don't want it as far out there. It's this one. What we can do, just to show you what the angle looks like, we got. We turn it that way and tighten it. Now on top, this side. In fact, we'll do it the way around, so you can see. On here, 
you can actually slide it that way or this way. Now there is a, a fool's way of doing it and I can never remember but there's a, there's a certain, uh, especially with flag C stands, where you can only screw it up one way and if you, if you were to screw it the other way it just collapse on you. In, in America it's a different sort of screw to Britain but this one seems to have a lovely little bit of a universal groove on it. Right, it seems to be universal so if it goes that way or this way it'll be gripped. Uh, some American makes or some cheaper makes or some expensive makes even uh, you can only tighten them up one way because of the screw thread mm. and you've got to as it tighten as it, as it spins it tightens it and as it spins the other way it untightens it so you've got to be always careful to, to, to work out which I, I think with this what we're saying is it's, it's, it's got teeth it's teeth and it's, it's just tightening the teeth on stuff. and it's, once the teeth are tightened up it don't go left nor right and you can't un, un, it won't move un, yeah. un thingy okay uh, what we can do, just to show you what the angle looks like, we've got, we turn it that way and tighten it. Now on top, this side, in fact we'll do it the other way around. So if you are going to have anything heavy on the end, you need, definitely need sandbags on there, or weights, on the, on the legs. But we'll be getting them soon, you know. Um, and if you are pointing it out that way, it's always best to make sure that uh, you don't do it that, that way. You point it that way, and twist the whole stand around to point that way, so that the heaviest bag with the longest snow, the biggest bag can go on the back of the uh, C stand, and it's uh, most dirty. So you can imagine them, them two are the front. This is the back. That's where your armature goes. You've got heavy lamps on there, you've got lights, mics, goodness knows what you've got on there. You've always got plenty of weight on there so it doesn't tip forward. And basically that's your C-stand. As I say, new Nibi, new we, new we, like uh, C-stands are uh, excellent value. Newer. <laughs> Yes, as I was saying, newer C stands are excellent value, very sturdy, they feel very well built. Uh, we will be taking it out and testing them over the next few weeks, so watch this space. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. I think this might be the thing that opens up the legs. Uh, oh, that looks sound right. <laughs> An Allen key. We were wondering what spread the legs. Oh, God. <laughs> you dirty old man. <laughs> and in the wrapping, an Allen key. And that's for opening up these, I suspect. I mean, I mean, you just do that bolt, that bolt at the bottom. We see, you want to undo that bolt, then tighten it back up again. So we need a spanner and an Allen key and Allen key. Right, and we don't need that on when we're indoors. So. Say that again to the camera. Needs plugging in. So where are we getting the sound from? Camera. Oh, all right. Why it sounds awful. Oh, I understand.